Okay, so this is our RV video number two. Um, we're going to go show you the interior of the RV, starting from the outside, walking inside. <clears throat> so right now we're plugged into shore power, as you can see, shore power plugged into the house. So we're plugged into shore power right here. So we're going to go around. And we're going to go inside. And we'll start from out here. You can see there's a net, mesh net. Keeps the bugs out. It rolls up. And the clip's up top. Just clip it to the hips. Alright. Sliding door. And you can go. Okay. Your awning must be, the sliding door must be closed for you to use awning. Outside porch light. Okay. And then we go inside. The net mesh here is magnetic. So it's just magnets bounce back. See? You pull. And it's just magnets. You also have zippers to roll it up. So you have a zipper there. Now we go back. And you also have a zipper there. So a zip. All the way up. And then zip. All the way up. And then just grab it at the bottom right here with the roll. And just roll it up. And you connect it to the clutch right there. To hold it up. So we open up. Morning. Morning. And we go inside, and the first thing you'll see when you come inside, see? Get Mitch inside. Twice first sitting there. Is this control panel right here. So this is a battery on. Always make sure the battery on is on. It's just a toggle switch. So toggle battery on. And then we're connected to shore power, so this screen automatically turns itself off after so many seconds, just to conserve power. So we just attach the screen. It's a touch screen. And as you can see, you have lights, sofa lights, living room, backlight. Uh, that's the lighting page. And then you have the AC vents, AC uh, vent, furnace off. Temperature settings, AC fan high, AC fan low, AC fan on auto. Touch it again. And then we have the water pump. Water pump must be on for you to use the water. Uh, fresh water uh, levels, 25%. Gray water, uh, zero. Uh, black water is 50%. Propane is 56% or 58% now. On delivery, uh, black water will be zero. Propane will be 90%. Whenever you refill the propane tank, only fill it to 90%. That way, <coughs> propane tank has room for expansion. Right now, your voltage readings and how many amps. That's how many uh, amps you're pulling when you're using stuff. Generator start. Generator stop. Power is on the generator. And then AGS. That's automatic generator start. And then when you push that button, it'll tell you, give you instructions as to how to set it up. So basically, you push the button there, and it will go into AGS mode, and it gives you a warning. And then all you have to do is cycle the ignition key within 60 seconds, and it will automatically turn it on. So whatever settings you set it to, we'll cancel that and go into settings. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Back here. Uh, where the settings go? Oh, go back home. Settings. Settings for the AGS is right there. So we hit settings right there, and you can go on an easy setup. And you've got those options as far as starting the generator. So when the house batteries are low and need to be charged, yep. And when the climate control system needs power, it'll automatically start. And then you basically tell it when and what time to start. Okay. You set your values. And then you go to next, you set your values again, and then set your values again on that screen. And 
and then you set your values here, enable, and then it says finished. And you just hit finish. Once you set your values, and you go, and you do AGS, push the button, and within 60 seconds, cycle the ignition key. And then you'll see that light just goes green and stays green. So it'll stay green until you turn it off. Okay? We've got little hooks. We use this for trash bags. Okay? Just the little public bags they give you for groceries. We use that for trash bags. All right, so we're looking inside. Yep. Uh, great looking floor. <clears throat> but it's that uh, laminate floors we've got right there. Okay. Uh, your carpet. Just a little carpet brush. Your seats turn around. So in order for your front seats to turn around, as you can see, both seats turn around. And that is for a table, which you saw in the images that we posted. Your heads up up front. Okay. I've got a monitor sitting in the front seat right now. That's my big uh, flat screen for when we're doing our little thing. Presentations. Okay. So, there we go. Alrighty. That little shelf don't hold it there. It's magnetic. So that's our front. Your seats turn around, and all you've got to do is pull this lever, and the seats turn around. Preferably, seat full forward, and the doors open, so you can just swing it around. All right, that's your emergency brake, parking brake. Both seats turn around. Okay. And let's go up and down. All the way down. Um, got a little hanging thing we added, and then your we added latches here so you can keep your doors closed. That's the remote for this TV, okay? That way, if you've got that stacked with stuff, it won't fall out. Down here, you've got your uh, TV outlets, you've got a USB charger port right there, and you also have electrical power. We keep blue def down here, so you always want to put blue def or check and sure you have enough blue def. It's just a fill up, kind of like your uh, water uh, windshield washer fluid type fill up. So when it goes low, you will know because you will be wanting to drive. The car will start and you'll put it in drive, but keep the gears won't change. It won't go anywhere. It'll feel like it's in neutral. That's because you're low on blue def. So you have to always fill up blue def. I recommend checking it every three or four Phillips. That's your vent fan right there. All right. The vent fan, when you have it on, if it's raining, it'll automatically turn itself off and close the vent. So as not to have rain coming inside. So we go and we stand all the way up front and we look towards the back and that's what you have. So right now, that right here, when you come in the vehicle and start up, always make sure to push the screen button, turn on your power supply. That's your power supply for the rear cabin. Always make sure it's on. When you start the engine, it should automatically come on, but if it does not, push the green button, turns it right, but, uh, right on, and you should uh, have or see the voltage when driving and not plugged into shore power be at least 13.1 volts. You've got cabinets down below, and inside the cabinets down below, we leave you stuff. So you have a full blender and a bullet blender, brand new pots, hands, and a cutting board. In the other cabinet, wherein you have a power supply here, you also have a toaster oven and a kettle and some cleaning supplies. All right, your water pumps under the sink. <clears throat> Here you have your sink. Okay. And you just remove that to use your sink. 
and put the cover back. Do not use this as a cutting board, please. It leaves scratches. Thank you. Uh, our iron, left our iron in here. We'll take that out. You guys don't need that. So we have a two burner gas stove. Okay, there you have it. Two burner gas stove. All right, push to start. And you push, light, and it cranks up. Push. This one won't crank up. I guess I need both hands. Either way, you got a burner. Always have your vent on if you're cooking. So our cabinets, you have three cabinets there, or three drawers. The first drawer is your utensils. So you've got that going on. That's some major upgraded utensils. Okay. We normally take these out. And your second drawer is empty. Always have make sure your drawers are latched before driving. Otherwise, they will just roll out on you. And then the bottom drawer, we leave some bowls. Pull up and pull out. We'll leave some bowls and some cups in there for you. And if these aren't necessary items, then let us know ahead of time so we can take them out. Okay, you have your refrigerator. Oh. For that, you've got your bathroom, bathroom toilet area. So, open that door. Here's your bathroom toilet area. Okay. All right. Got a little vanity cabinet right there. Okay. These are your blinds for your front windshields and side windows up front. Okay, they're magnetic also. Alright. Little shower curtain. Okay. Uh, push here to flush. Take that out so you can see better. This is what you have. Okay. Alright. And then we open. And that is what you have. Push flush. Okay. So that's our bathroom. Our little sink. If you actually wanted to take a shower, which wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> you do have hot water. Provided you have water. Alright, so that's our furnace outlet. And this is our refrigerator. So refrigerator runs off, uh, that's the on button, electricity, propane, and a battery. This is auto, so it automatically chooses which one to be in depending on what you've got going on. Right now we're plugged into short power, so it automatically goes to electricity. If we unplug short power, it will automatically go to propane because the engine is not running. If the engine running, it will automatically go to battery, and that's your temperature settings. Press press down and pull out to open the refrigerator door the refrigerator is clean okay you've got some beers and some juices and some coffee stuff in there but yeah and here you have your little freezer I guess mom left a snicker bar in there ice cream snicker bar and here we have a leveler we use a leveler to keep the refrigerator ajar when we're not going to be in here for a long extended period of time not wasting power just turning everything, everything off that way it doesn't um, create mold or mildew in the refrigerator it's also used to level out the RV depending on where you're parked convection microwave okay Action, grill, roast, and power defrost options. Okay. Go with the lint. And we go back again to the back. 
So down below, carpeted, and that is for your table. Your table goes right in that little hole. Uh, blinds. Face light up. Okay. Back off so you can see that again. And then you've got upper cabinet space. Push the button, they pop out, and then just lift up. We put similar, like, airline type, whatever, push up pumps. There you go. And that's your little latches. Little latches. Moving back, kind of like a little airline cabin push, and they just open up. Okay, this one's empty. We leave this one empty for you. We leave all of them empty for you for your storage needs. The other one here also pops up. Okay, that's your cabinet space. All right. Now, obviously, this one has to be closed for you to open the back one because, as you can see, you know, limited space. Okay. Uh, another little hand hanger for your stuff. Little stainless steel back over your stove. Okay. And then your other cabinet back here. Another board right there. We use that for laptops. Like, put a laptop on it so you don't have the laptop on you. Comes in pretty handy. But we leave one in there for you. Got storage space back here, and we keep a comforter set in here for you. Brand new, hasn't been used. I recommend you bring your own though, and bring more than one. This one doesn't have the latch thing because there's no place to hang it because of how this particular cabinet's made, so it's just one of those, okay? But again, empty. Lift up, and then push back. Push the button in, and we're good to go. All right. For extra clothes and stuff like that, I like to hang my suits and stuff right there. Instead of in the closet, because there's more room, obviously. Got one on both sides. These are your sofa valence lights. The back of the sofa here, that comes down. Okay. Bring it all the way down if you want to. Obviously, go down behind the sofa. And then you have the same thing on either side. They come down. Okay. They come down. Your windows are just regular um, turn windows to close them. Okay. All sides. Just uh, pull down. Snap right back up. You also have a mesh in the back. All right. Seat belt. And seat belt. Okay. And then down below here, you have another USB charge. And on this side, another USB charge. Sitting in the back seat looking forward. This is your view. You got a TV right there. The remote controls inside the cabinet right there. That's your other seat. And we're going to turn these seats into bed here in a minute. So, USB charge port. Uh, vent for your uh, power source under there, which is your uh, converter. Okay, down here we have our uh, control panel circuit breakers. You just push in and they pop, the door pops open. You got power source right there. You got refrigerator reset switch right there. Okay, and that's a carbon monoxide sensor. Right, and this is just a vent for the power supply stuff going on underneath the seat. Uh, your TV, just pull on the lever and then pull them out. It's just a snap hook, see? And then the TV swing out. I leave an HDMI cord in here for you because I prefer to travel with uh, HDMI cables to hook up my laptop to my TV and have whatever I want. This is your rear control panel. Okay. Same thing as up front. And we're going to turn the AC on. And it takes a bit to kick in. The AC will only work on generator when you're driving out. So you have to have the generator on. You 
you have to have the generator on to run the AC in the back while you're driving. Okay? So, there you go. So make sure your generator is on to run the AC because it needs that much power. The AC is up above. Feel that cool air coming at you. Cabinet space back here. The remote for the TV back here is in this cabinet. That's the uh, pull that out, and that's your stool, uh, table stand. It just goes right into the floor, right there, and up there, depending on where you want to put your uh, table. And just pop your table right off. Pops right off. You've got a microwave reset right there. So you get microwave triple circuit breaker. Pulling too much power. And there you go. Uh, because the microwave pulls so much power, I wouldn't recommend using the microwave and the AC at the same time. It's one or the other. So what I normally do is just turn the AC off for the little bit of time that I'm going to be using the microwave to warm something up and then turn the AC back on. Uh, especially if I'm on short power because it will trip your circuit breakers in the house because it's pulling too much juice. The amps pulling too much amperage. Uh, you have a DVD player and it's your solar panel control. Tells us where all the solar, the solar power is working, sunlight, solar power, moonlight, light top, AC, USB, voltage, and that's a USB that you can use to charge your phone if necessary off the solar. Okay? So solar USB charger basically is what that is. I leave uh, coat hackers in here for you. That's, that's how I travel. So that's pretty much uh, the interior. Now we're going to convert the bed. Oh, this is what you do. So we're back here and the bed is in that position right now where the, the, the sofa and the back is in the upward position. So all we do is we go to our control panel here and we go to this right there, little gears, and we do extent. And you also have manual control for the vents and the speed of the vents. Okay. And in the awning, the side doors must be closed before you extend the awning, okay? And don't extend it all the way. You extend it all the way and then you pull it back in a little bit so it can stiffen up, all right? So for the sofa, you would do extend. Now we push that, hold it. And as you can see, the sofa is extending. And it lays down, let it go. And that's it, so it lays down, okay? your sofa laid down on the back. So what we're going to do now is under this seat to the left, looking back under this seat to the left, you have the boards that go across right here. So you can extend these into a full size and I would say take this guy up, put it right there, lift that guy up, Up and out. And these are your boards. Take your board. Lay it across. Take your other board. Yeah, that's the inverter down there. Lay it across. Okay. And then you put it back. Put it back. Put your seat back. All right. And now, you take the back of the seats and you put them right here. One goes right there. See? Back of the seat goes right there. And you take the back of this other seat. There you have it. Okay? have a bed layout. Now normally, 
we would leave pillows in here new to us not new to you uh, kings like four kings and four uh, queens but because of the condition and the climate we're in now we will not do that uh, so bring your own pillows and bring your own comforters I would recommend if you're planning on sleeping in here um, two comforters to cushion the top and then the one for you to actually sleep on and what I normally do a king a king set is what we use a king size comforter set because once you lay them and tuck them in the sides real good then that's your padding and then the other one's just for you to cover up because it gets pretty cold with the AC so that's what I would recommend I normally keep my laptop to the side here Just like that and I plug in my HDMI and I do what I do but you know that's all you so when you're back here you can lay and chill this is an extension of the countertop all you have to do is just pull up okay and you also have power supply under there so we lift up and pull down lift up and pull down on both sides to bring it back down so there there and then it goes back down so you have that okay and that is the inside of our sprinter that's the inside of our sprinter so any questions, feel free to give us a call. And thank you for watching.